हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक्निकल नॉलेज एट दिल्ली आज हम एक न्यू सीरीज शुरू करेंगे प्रिंसिपल की जो कि वो एक बहुत ही यूजफुल है डे ऑफ एज अ डे ऑफ इन दिल्ली सो हम पहली क्लास देखते हैं इंट्रोडक्शन टू प्रिंसिपल प्रिंसिपल इज अ ओपन सोर्स ऑटोमेशन टूल दैट सिंप्लीफाइज आईटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर मैनेजमेंट विद अलाउ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स to automate uh, repetitive tasks deploy application and configure systems across multiple machines from a single control room what is ansible first so it automation ansible is a powerful tool for automating it tasks such as software deployment configuration management and orchestration second it is a agentless architecture ansible uses an agentless architecture meaning it Does not require any special software to be installed on the managed nodes. In third, it is simple and efficient. You know, Ansible uses a human-readable language that is YAML to define its uh, automation workflows, making it easy to read and write. And the key feature of the Ansible is idem potency, idem potency, and modules extensibility. Idem potency in Ansible and Ansible nature ensure that the data task can be run multiple times without causing unidentified changes. Modules. Modules uh, provides a wide range of built-in modules for performing various tasks from managing files to interacting with the cloud providers. Extensibility. Ansible can be extended with uh, custom modules, plugins, and libraries to meet specific needs. Ansible architecture. So this is Ansible architecture like control node and communicating node. So control node. The control Ansible. The Ansible control node is an is the machine from which Ansible commands are executed and where the Ansible playbooks are defined. Manage node. This is manage node. So the manage nodes are the remote machine that In Ansible, communicate with and perform tasks on modules and plugins. Ansible uses a modular design, allowing it to be extended with custom modules and plugins to perform a wide range of tasks. Means group of tasks. Ansible Play. So, what these are the Ansible Play declarative language. Ansible Play book uses declarative language YAML. Uh, to define the desired state of infrastructure task orchestration playbooks allow you to orchestrate uh, multiple tasks and apply them across multiple hosts in consistent manner reusability playbooks can be organized into reusable roles making it easier to manage and share your automation code add and potency ansible books uh, playbooks are Add important and ensuring that the task can be run multiple times without causing uh, unidentified changes. Ansible modules. So we have command module, file module, service module, cloud module, command module. Execute commands on remote host. File module manage files and directories on remote host. Service. Service module manage system services on remote host. Cloud. Uh, cloud manage cloud. Uh, Resources such as EC2 instances or F3 buckets, etc. Ansible inventory, uh, static inventory. Ansible can use static inventory file to define the host it manages. Dynamic inventory. Ansible can also use dynamic inventory such as fetching host from a cloud provider or configuration management tool. Groups. Uh, host can be organized into groups, allowing you to apply tasks to specific sets of hosts. Ansible roles. Ansible roles are reusability. Uh, Ansible roles provide a way to encapsulate related tasks, files, and variables into reusable packages. Organization roles help to organize uh, your Ansible code, making it easier to maintain and share with others. Best practices. Ansible community has established uh, best practices for writing roles, ensuring consistency and quality. Ansible Vault. Ansible Vault is secure storage. Ansible Vault allows you to encrypt sensitive data such as password or API key 
within your Ansible project, encryption, what you use a strong encryption algorithm to protect your sensitive data, ensuring that it remains secure, collaboration, what um, makes it easier to collaborate on Ansible projects as well. Team members can access the encrypted data securely. Benefits of uh, using Ansible simplicity, agentless, scalability, cost effective, uh, simplicity, and human readable element syntax will make it easy and to learn and use even for non technical users. Agentless agent agent architecture reduces the overhead of and complexity of managing remote systems. Scalability Ansible can be used to manage infrastructure of any size from a few machines to thousands of servers. Cost effective Ansible is open source and free to use, making it a cost effective solution for IT automation. Thank you. So, this is the basic about Ansible. Thanks. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe for more videos and more content on automation and DevOps soon. So, please subscribe on this channel, technical knowledge, and comment in the in the comment box thank you